It's not quite that intense. But I think for a controller, that's pretty fucking intense, don't you think? Check that bitch out. Look. Got the little Resident Evil 4 logo there. This is the GameCube version. It did make a PS2 version, but I don't have that. But I got this one, so that makes me happy enough. But it really is. It's a full-fledged controller. Um, it's one of the most oddly set-up controllers, though. Just because... I mean, you can look at the face here and just be like, how are you supposed to control that? But this is what gets more odd. Look. L, right there. The R button, right there. The Z trigger, right there. That's a really random assortment of fucking buttons. But once you get it in your hands, I mean, L, or, I'm sorry, Z and R, <laughs> easy to forget. Z and R, right there. You can do it with your index finger and your thumb, just like so. And since you're already holding this, you got L, got the analog stick. I can't get angles on here for shit, so you'll have to excuse me. But yeah, all around, really awesome. The only thing that sucks is, since it's a chainsaw, I kind of want to just swing it everywhere, and it's not wireless. So, right there at the bottom is actually a little port for you to plug it in. And another thing that you'll actually notice at the bottom is that it's limited edition. It's kind of neat. It is. They put a hell of a lot of detail onto this. And considering this is on the GameCube, it's a really morbid looking controller. I fucking love it. Um, you know, if you played Resident Evil 4, obviously you know about the chainsaw guy that runs around with the potato sack on his head and everything, and pretty much will just fucking behead you if you suck at the game. Well, they had to make a controller about it. One of the nice things that they made about this, though, beyond the fact that it's just really neat looking, came in an extremely nice case. Like, look at that. With that light shining on it. It's pretty nice. It's all around. On the back, there goes Leon. Getting his ass mowed the fuck down. And opens up. That's where you get to put the controller. There's a base inside. Which I will take out for you guys. There goes the base. So you can just kind of let it hang out. On the bottom is where you put the cable. They're so nice to label it as the cable department. And that's where the wire gets stored. Right in there. Very neat. Very nice. And when you get the controller. Just set it on there and you have a chainsaw just hanging out in your living room and people will wonder why the fuck you have a plastic toy chainsaw in there. One of the interesting things that I found about this though is they have a memory card holder. I don't know why. It It's not like it actually comes with a memory card, but it's, it's in there. I just found that extremely odd. But yeah, it's a really nice stand. I mean, it's not the most realistic looking thing. But it's cool that it came with one. Also inside, you get this little pamphlet. And pretty much it just tells you, Thank you for purchasing the controller by Newbie Tech. It's a chainsaw. You spent more money on this than you really should have. And has advertisements in it for the strategy guide and whatnot. But yeah, kind of nice. All around, it's it's a really quality controller. Um, the thing that strikes me as odd is, even though they put a lot of work into it, it's not officially licensed by Nintendo whatsoever. Um, I assume mostly because it's kind of gory looking. So they didn't want to associate themselves with anything that had to do with blood, even though back then uh, Resident Evil 4 is supposed to be exclusive to them. So I thought it was kind of redundant that they didn't back this, but whatever. What can you do? But... Yeah, for regular play use, I mean, it, it really works. It does. Playing Super Mario Sunshine with this is a fucking trip. Like, it really is. It's like, oh no, it's -a me, Mario. I bet to clean up all with a chainsaw. Fuck these Goombas, they can eat a dick. Urgh. 
Bowser isn't gonna say much of shit once you shove this up his fucking ass and you crank that fucker up. Yeah. Mushroom Kingdom. They will fear you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you see one, you're a diehard, like, Nintendo collector or Resident Evil collector. If you just see it for cheap and are really fucking bored and you just want to look like an asshole playing your games, then go for it. Nice thing about it is, since it's a GameCube controller, you can plug it into your Wii. I really wish it was wireless, though. That's probably my biggest complaint, and I think that's mostly because I've become spoiled now with wireless controllers, but it's not even so much that. It's it's a chainsaw. I really feel like swinging a chainsaw around. Sure, it might be the fact that I like Texas Chainsaw Massacre a lot, and... I just want to dance in place like Leatherface and swing us around while kicking ass in a GameCube game. But seriously, it, it, it just kind of sucks whenever the wire starts yanking and the fucking system just topples over. And you're like, oh no, my system just totally broke because I was all Texas Chainsaw massacring my fucking GameCube to death. Eh. Yeah, seriously, go go out and buy the controller if you see it for cheap. I don't even know how much the fucking thing costs anymore. I got it from Spencer's when I worked there, and it was literally just brand new. It was like $30 or some shit. So, seriously, go go pick it up. Get for PS2 if you can, because the PS2 version of uh, Resident Evil 4 is way better. Uh, unless you have the Wii version, which is even better, but guess what? This wouldn't actually be able to use the pointer, so you would just be playing the GameCube version anyway. Aw, oh, poop. So yeah, that's where I'm that's my review for the newbie tech controller. Resident Evil Chainsaw controller for GameCube. I don't I re I really I love this thing, seriously. <laughs> might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger.